Dry Stone Radio. Paddy Hard has just performed in the studio, absolutely shut it down. Representing female rappers out there, single mums as well. How are you doing, buddy? You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's great to have you in the studio. Like, finally, and Baddy's back. If it's official, Baddy's back. You don't know. Baddy Haas is back, staying, going on. <laughs> I mean, you you originally from London, so how did... You said you started music when you came up north. That's I think that's sick, but how did it all start? Like, when did you go, like... You know, I'm going to rap. <laughs> I'm going to start rapping. Um, I mean, like, from when I was about, like, 10, 11, 12, 13, them times, yeah. When we was younger on the estate and that, yeah, we used to go to, like, this free studio. So I actually started barring from when I was younger, yeah, but it's not something I continued with. I was more doing dancing and stuff, so. But when I came up to Bradford three years ago, I started seeing this music scene, yeah. And it was a challenge for me, innit, because I thought, yo, I've got bars, innit, I can do this thing, yeah. But I started releasing like a little freestyles and that and the fan base started coming and then I decided to do an official freestyle and stuff. And then ever since then, I've been pushing and pushing and pushing, but I want to be releasing an EP soon, Female Traces. So yeah, that's the next step for me in it. So everyone can hear my music now. Nice. I mean, when I saw it, when I, how I came across you as like King of the Hill, I've got to give shout outs to King of the Hill because like what he's done for Bradford and stuff, I, I really yeah. rate it. But like I, I saw you... I saw you on the channel. I was like, "Oh damn!" Like, I was like, "Whoa!" Like, <laughs> like, uh, like, obviously on the show we've had uh, Victoria, like, who's Polish and she's a Polish rapper. Yeah. But that's the first time I'd seen like a female rapper. And then obviously, I was like, I listened to your accent, like when you were rapping. This was before yeah, yeah. we spoke on the phone and stuff. She doesn't sound like she's from Yorkshire, but it says Bradford. So like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Like, obviously, I'm just up here representing now. This is where I live, and it's a BFD town. That's the representation. Like, this is where I started my music. So this is where I proceed to continue on it. So. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I really rate what you said to me on the like. What did you say on the phone? To, like on the phone to me the other day, you said like, you obviously you do the rap thing as like, and obviously like you've got a family as well, you got kids and stuff. So like, and you're trying to show the people they can do that as well instead of just doing you know like not Yo, letting you hold it back. Yeah, yeah. There's many. I'm telling you, like, it, there's many single mums out there. Yeah. Well, in London it was like that. And I'm not. I haven't met anyone like that in Bradford yet, as such. But. There's a lot of mums out there, yeah, that be barring at home and stuff, you know, you know, just a little bit, yeah. But of course we can do it. Like, I do this mum thing all day long. I'm not going to lie. In the night time, I don't really sleep, yeah. <laughs> that's my time for the music, do you get me? But that's certain sacrifice you have to make if you want to do this. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, But it's possible, man. It's possible. I'm living proof of that right now. It's happening. <laughs> what would you say to a girl that's, like, wanting to rap? Like, someone my age is, like, 21 maybe or, like, even younger that's... Because obviously, like, for a girl, it must be a hard thing to, like, go out and start rapping, yeah. Yo, it, I think, I think, yeah, yeah, it is. It, I don't know, do you know? I think it's more rated if a girl comes out, to be honest, you know? Not more harder, but I think the issue right now is, like, a race thing. For white girls, it's kind of hard in the scene right now because everyone's always like, yo, this white girl's trying to drop a bar, like, to most of us, if you get what I'm trying to say. But I think that's just the hardest thing in this right now at the moment, but... Apart from that, you're always going to get haters, you get me? So you have to ride that. Mm. I mean, like, it's funny you say that because I think there is, like, going on to race, it is a touchy subject. And, like, I think Skepta made a good point and said, like, basically, like, a lot of rappers do it in London now where, like, they'll, like, demoralise, like, white women in the songs. Yeah, and then, like, yeah. and they think it's okay. And then, like, but say if, like, a white guy did that in a rap song. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, and called a black girl, like, the most beautifulest thing ever someone might take that the wrong way like yeah, yeah no yeah. matter even if you call it's like, like a common thing for it yeah, to be yeah. like that nowadays which that shouldn't be the case really yeah know, i mean i think like it shouldn't matter like you know like it shouldn't matter what color you are or where you come from yeah yeah you rap you rap do you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is all this is thing like, like what annoys me is like i see it on social media is like dark skin beauty is like why why does it matter because she's she's dark you know it doesn't matter that she's dark she's beautiful just call her beautiful yeah yeah why, yeah. You, have, why do you have to like categorize it as a certain thing but like moving back to the music, like, how would you compare how it was in London to up north? Like, boy, um, <laughs> um, boy, from even from young and to now, I don't know. Like, I grew up in Peckham, yeah, which is South London, and that that's just mad, isn't it? Like, it's it's quite raw, isn't it? Growing up in them ends, and I mean, coming up to Bradford, yeah, you, if you like see estates and stuff, and you see the difference, yeah. There, there is a big difference, you know. Things are more rural down in London. But for me, Bradford, 
I prefer the people up here in it. No offense in that. <laughs> One, <laughs> oh, all love to my to my south people, but do you know what? Yeah, I love the northerners, man. <laughs> do you get me? Everyone's more friendlier and stuff. Do you get me? Like, but it's a nice place to live as well for me and it. Like, I like the scenery. Like, everyone thinks I'm silly for it, yeah. But City Park is my spot, you know. Like that where the waters are, and that that's my little thinking spot in BFD. Oh. Like, <laughs> that's where I get little inspiration sometimes and that. But yeah man i think bfd is doing it for the music right now as well to be honest there's too many artists coming hard i agree like like even when i went to j depp's party like i just said to my friends like that was my first ever like obviously i'm from skipton and like that was my first time ever partying in bradford i just said like these guys are a different league like in a, in a good yeah, way obviously yeah. like you guys know how to party and stuff and like and i think like j depp's has been so welcoming to me and obviously like he, big, he knew who you were on the phone and everything and he's like seems to be like quite a small community and like i like the fact that it seems like obviously you know that that girl from manchester uh, yeah, Lisa, yeah, yeah. um it's good that people are linking up and it's not just becoming like beefs anymore it's becoming like i like, had lee j you had prince amari and graf doing that tune together yeah, and i yeah. think the stuff's like important and i mean could you see yourself doing that with maybe a couple of a girls rappers getting her from manchester and then maybe getting like a lead stream on rapper and then doing like a collaboration um yeah, I just have to see how it goes for collaboration-wise, I guess, yeah. But, you know, like, ciphers and that. Yeah, why not? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> but, yeah, no, no, I'm down to work with new eyes. You get what I'm trying to say? Not like that, but, you know, you know how it is. There's, there's not too many girls in this thing right now. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, it would be nice if all the girls started coming together. That's the whole reason why me and James put that cipher together. The, the grand one with Moretti and stuff. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, we could show that there's like another girl in the scene and we can like do this do you know what i mean so yeah. positive move i mean um i mean is there any like i mean is there any like no like rap female rappers that inspire then like like for me like my top rappers have got me like foxy brown like i really rate her um of course man, like, Baby, all the yeah. old school ones and at lisa left eye and that done <laughs> i love lisa lisa left eye back in the day man but do you know what yeah Nowadays, yeah, for me, because of this this generation and it, Paigey Cakey is like one of my Ooh, favorite. You get me, good. Lady Leash, done knowing it. Like No Lay, I like her old stuff back in the days. You know, like when she was like saying a lot of things that she went through and stuff. But I find like she's a bit more commercial nowadays and stuff. But yeah, like do you know, Lady Leash and Paigey Cakey, they're like my favorite man. I can't lie. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, I like. Uh, I'm always banging them. Nadia Rose. I mean, I wouldn't say she's a rapper. She's more of like a like an MC. I'd say she's more like sort of like a. I don't know. She's you know a singer. What? Yeah, I don't know how you. Have you heard her. of um, I am DDB? Of course I have. Yeah. Love her. I was gonna mention. She's her, so yeah. hard. She's got a different style. Like, bro, I'm always waving. Like, I swear down, bro. She's sick. You know what it is about her? It's like it's not rap, but it's not singing. It's nah, like somewhere no, in between. She's just yeah, got yeah, her yeah, own yeah, yeah. Style. That's it. That's yeah. it. And that's what I think it's a, it's important to do nowadays. You know, like just bring your own 